All right, so what is good, everybody, on YouTube? This is, of course, your boy B. Bullet RC coming to you guys again with yet another. And listen, man, it is almost the end of the week. The weekend is almost over, so you don't know what time it is, man. Let's get into this week's Heat or Hype, where we get into the latest sneaker releases, sneaker rumors, or anything I want to talk about in the sneaker or street world world. That is what we do here today. And remember, if I don't talk about a shoe, either I forgot about it, didn't edit it in, or it was just that. Basura. That I did not want to expose y'all to it. D do I need to say it? I'ma still expose you to it. Now before we get started, make sure you drop a like on this bit. I also dropped a brand new unboxing video yesterday. And there's a big video on the way this week. Something I've been working towards for a pretty long time. So just stay tuned. I may be doing a giveaway later this month or it might be incorporated into that video. I'm not sure yet, but trust me, when you see it, you'll know. But listen, it's time to get into it. Of course, we got that Basuda for y'all. And this week, I mean, the Basuda is trash, but I honestly kind of like them a little bit, at least right now. Maybe once we get to them, I won't, but let's get to it. Let's get into this week's Heat or Hype. All right, y'all, so first up, unfortunately, with, again, the Barona virus. Since we're talking about Barona, figured since it's the end of the weekend, some of y'all say the week starts on Sunday. Y'all know it don't start for me on Sunday. Figured for this episode, we just have a nice uh, Corona familiar. No, this is not sponsored an ad, but Corona, if you want to sponsor me, let me know. Now, due to what is happening right now, we have had some release dates pushed back and some store closures from different places. First of which is Nike. Now, as far as the release dates that were pushed back on April 11th, the DMP6 will be dropping. On April 25th, the Fire Red 5s will be returning. The Flint 13s will push back to May 2nd. The 11 lows will be dropping on May 23rd. And then the brand new kind of basura top three Air Jordan 5s will be dropping on May 30th. And there is one more shoe that was affected by the pushback, but we're gonna be talking about those a little bit later. So I just go ahead and save those for when we get to them. But yeah, we've been having a lot of stuff affected. Schools closing, toilet paper selling out. But we also had Nike stores closing from March 16th to March 27th. That is a week. And from what I've been seeing, it's probably gonna be around for much longer than a week. And then on top of that, something in the water got canceled, which for me, I was excited to go. Sucks, just gonna have to wait till next year in 2021. Next up, we got a brand new Nike SB on the way. This is a Dunk Low, and this is called the Blue Flurry Pair. Now these are gonna be dropping in April for a retail of $100. Is it the most crazy pair of SBs out there? No, it's kind of like a regular GR, I'm assuming SB type release. And I'm just mentioning it because you know the SB hype is back. Everything comes back in style and of course the SBs are back. This colorway right here though, is definitely not nothing crazy. I'm not super hyped about them, but it's not a bad colorway in any means. So these are dropping in April once again for retail of a hundred bucks. Now this next one's actually dropping on March 21st, but if you are not in Korea, you can't get them. And that is this Nike Air Max 95 Pollen Rise. Again, they drop on the 21st for 209,000 won. Now, in my opinion, these are actually pretty fire. For out of nowhere pair Air Max 95s, yes, what you're seeing is that all of those patches, even that big floral swoosh on it, that can be taken off. So yeah, the shoe is definitely asking to get dirty, but as far as the look and the customizable aspect of them, I think they're pretty fire. I really dig the colors. It's mostly white with the black contrast all over the upper. Got the yellow and orange, and then you got all these different colors. It really looks like a custom pair of Air Max 95s. It kind of reminds me of the custom pair of uh, Travis Scott Air Force Ones that had like that cactus swoosh that somebody did on the side. Now that I'm thinking about it, reminds me a lot of that. That Travis thing had been done a long time ago. I'm not saying nothing, but not saying that an idea couldn't have come from some outside sources. Regardless though, still a fire shoe. I would cop it if I was able to, but I'm not in Korea. So for the Korea fam out there, whoever you are, speak up. Let me know, would you cop this shoe down below? And if you are gonna be going for it, I hope you can get that dub for everybody over here across the water. Next up, we got Nike and Off-White coming back at it once again. Now this info is via Pirates. If I read right here is the Nike and Off-White Air Zoom Tempo Next Percent fk that's the full name now the retail should be 260 on this pair and they should be dropping in the fall and as you guys can see there are three different colorways of the shoe all up and down the screen right here now i've seen the actual base shoe the regular shoe the not off-white one and it's an interesting shoe it's a performance running sneaker and while it does look interesting 
Um, I'm not too sure how many people are going to be really going for these. Again, this shoe to me isn't as wild as the Waffle Racer or that other one that people weren't really feeling. And the base retail already at 260 is a bit high. So depending on how they actually look, of course, these are just mock-ups. I'll probably have a better idea of how these might be moving once they drop. But would I personally cop them? Um, I don't know. Probably not. It will be a cool gym shoe. Yeah, but for everyday wear, mm, until I see full photos right now, it will probably be a pass for me. Now, for the next two shoes, we actually got a Nike City Pack. And these are both on Nike Air Max 1s. Now, first up, you have the Amsterdam Air Max 1 that's dropping on March 19th. Now, while it isn't my favorite shoe, I get it. And as y'all can see, it's kind of like a gray. You got the X's that apparently represents their coat of arms. Then you also have like the canals on the back by the Nike Air. Then even if you hop over to the London pair, it's more of a blue hue. The whole hue of the shoe is a little bit different. And then on the back of that one, you got the Thames River embroidered through the Nike Air on the back and that London pair will also be dropping on the 19th right now that's all the info I got both of these will be retailing for 160 I'm not sure how the release is gonna go but yeah there you go now you know for some more across the water fam if you're into these uh trainers there you go up next we got another brand new colorway of the Nike Adapt BB 2.0 and this one is an all-over tie-dye I would buy this shoe if I was going to be balling in them I got the original Adapt BB it was cool it was actually a pretty comfortable sneaker and as far as the looks go on these they're pretty fire yeah it's real colorful if you're not into real colorful shit then that's definitely not gonna be for you now they look cool and that retail is hefty four hundred dollars off your hip to be exact almost half a rack for this pair of shoes right here but as we know the adapt sneakers the tech it just ain't there to be super cheap and it probably won't be there for a long time as far as this tie-dye pair goes it's cool if i was balling i would cop them but since i'm not i'll probably pass now up next we actually got a brand new pair of air drone ones supposed to be dropping on july 11th and this is the light smoke gray air jordan one it's not a bad colorway but when i see it i just wish like um these remind me of the unions i'd much rather have a pair of union ones now 170 instead of 900 a rack 1100 1200 for the unions sounds a lot better to me for sure but i don't really see this as a need colorway i need the gray black and red air drone ones but we just have to wait until we get official photos a lot of times we get the leaks the rumors the news I tell y'all all the time, it's mock-ups. These could drop. When they drop, they might look a little bit different. And this might be another one that I might have to just wait and see what they actually look like when they drop. But this should be what they kind of look like. Somewhat of a diet union for sure. But it ain't the worst Air Drone 1 colorway out there at all. Now, y'all know Air Max Day is on the way. So the one Air Max that Nike brought back was the Reverse Duck Camo Air Max 90. And it is pretty true to form. While I'm not the biggest fan of this shoe, I personally am really not gonna be going for it. If you're a fan, if you're like, yo, these are the craziest things, you don't have to yell at me, bro. It's all good. If you like them, you like them. I hope you cop them. And me not trying to cop them is more of a chance for you to grab them. So I hope you get the W, like I said, Reverse Duck Camo 90s. And these should be dropping around March 26th, if not on March 26th. Now the next shoe we got actually comes from a photo from fine line and this one is the air jordan 5 multicolor now this one is going to be a gs colorway and the release date as of right now is april 3rd 2020 this one is a gs release though so only the smallest of the small feet gang can get in on these so let's just move to the next one now the next one we got i think it's a cool colorway but i really wish they wouldn't have put it on an air jordan 1 mid just put it on the high and this is being called the incredible hulk colorway purple green and white y'all get it and i'm not mad at this pair of mids at all i wish it was a regular high pair of air jordan ones i might have gone out and copped it if it was that but i really think that the name makes this shoe cooler i think it's just a purple and green and white one that's not called the incredible hawk one the incredible hawk ones just sound cool at least to me but these mids in my opinion if it was a high I think it would have been a go. It would have been something different. It would have been a unique colorway for an Air Jordan 1. So for me, it's a pass, but I do like the shoe and I like the colorway idea. Now let's go ahead and just hit these Yeezys real quick and then we can hop into that Basuda of the Week. Now the first one is the Yeezy 350 V2 Linen Colorway. Gotta be honest with y'all. Y'all know I talk my, you know, my ish about Yeezys. I like this colorway. There it is. It's a nice spring summer soft colorway. As of right now, I'm not seeing a release date right here, but 
I mean, I don't know, maybe I just like these yellowish, tannish Yeezys a little bit more. Or maybe it's just this one and the Marsh in particular that I'm just kind of digging. But at the same time, this isn't something that I'm gonna be pressed to get. Although I like the shoe, I don't really see myself wearing this colorway a lot. So for me, more than likely, this will be a pass personally. Again, I like the colorway. I actually like this shoe. But if I bought this one, I probably wouldn't wear it too much. Would I like to see it in person though? Yeah, yeah, I would. Okay, so it is time to get into the Basuda of the week. Now we got two shoes. First up, let me take a sip. Why wow, one shoe. Balenciaga is back. We have another sandal that was a sneaker at first. I don't know what it is, but every sneaker is being turned into a sandal. Not all of them are bad, but we have the track Somebody did this. sandal. Now, for reference, here's the track sneaker, and this is the track two. The track one I had, which I'm letting go in the bodega, and the track two I actually like. I like the Balenciaga track sneakers. Now, this slide, for sure, is Basuda. And the retail on these, for these Balenciagas, if you want the Balenciaga sandals, you spending $5.95 straight out the pocket, straight off the hip. Now, I told y'all before that I thought like Sui Cokes that retail for $200 were too expensive. And I feel like this Balenciaga joint, it might have been like more in the cards because I, I like the track and I kind of like this sandal. But $600 for them, you're wildin'. There is no way that I would ever in my life spend $600 on these. To me, it just looks like a whole bunch of like squid octopus tentacles coming up it's a weird looking pair of sandals and what really gets me every time is just the retail price of some of this stuff balenci 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 y'all are wild sorry uzi I, I can't do these ones these just look like a ton of different shoes melted together and then they took out the guts there you go velcro sandals and then the next shoe we have this one y'all might be kind of surprised but bland. Somebody did this. Y'all see them. And these should be another Matthew Williams shoe. They are Basuda. They are trash. They look ugly. They look hideous. But I really like the sole on this one. I like how this one looks better than the other one. The other one to me, it's it's a hard sell, bro. They pretty bad. These joints are like sneaker skis. Let's just move those back off the screen. These right here, they still look like a sneaker ski, but they look pretty futuristic. And even though they're ugly, I still think we need those weird shit shoes. I'm still gonna call them Basuda if it's Basuda, but that doesn't mean I don't like the shoe. And these are kind of cool to me. Again, are these garbanzo beans? For sure, but they kind of look a little cool. Now listen, that is all of the Basuda for the week. This time it was definitely quality Basuda over quantity. And y'all let me know what the nickname would be for these Matthew Williams joints. Y'all know what time it is. Let's get back to the heat, bro. Next up, we got another pair of Yeezy Boost 350 V2s. And the official name is Descender. Y'all see them right here. I'ma just call them the I didn't get the all black, the triple black joints. So I got these 350 V2. Am I knocking you if you didn't get them? No, but I mean, these are just charcoal or really dark gray or a black and gum on the bottom. Triple blacks look better. It's a diet triple black, in my opinion. Just like the Utility 700s to me weren't as good as just the triple black Vanta 700 V2s. Black and gum is nice, but usually triple black is better. That just is what it is. So for this next one, we finally have photos of this four that we have been speculating about for the past year. And here they are right here. Now, they're calling these the Rasta Air Jordan 4 right now. These are supposed to be dropping next month in April. I'm not sure if they're going to get affected by all the pushbacks. And the retail on these should be $190. It is an interesting sneaker. I think I see someone saying that someone's going to put this on with the multicolor vest, the mesh vest. I mean... <laughs> I'm gonna keep it moving, but as you guys can see, it's an interesting four. It's white, you got the cement print. I do like the clear green on the bottom. I like that on the sole. Now the window on the side of the shoe where you usually have a backing seems like it's gonna be straight through, like you can see through the sneaker. Um, I'm not particularly mad at it. I think some people might be just getting thrown off by the multicolor and the different spots on the shoe. Is this going to be something that flies off the shelves? I don't think so. Unless it's limited. If it's limited, y'all know how it goes. People are going to cop it regardless because it's limited. Another one that we finally have actual photos of the Court Purple Air Jordan 4. Now the release date on these is right here, which is May 
14th, 2020 at a retail of 190. I like the shoe for sure. I'm still waiting to see the pine green, so more than likely, this isn't really one that I'm thinking I'm gonna cop. The pine greens, I would like those back and I would like to get that pair. You guys know I already have a double up of the Chrome or the Pure Money Air Jordan 4, so for right now, I'm not super pressed to grab these. Now, a few weeks ago, we talked about the Off-White Air Jordan 4 in the beige colorway, and in that video, I kinda alluded to the red colorway of the shoe possibly releasing, and now it seems like that could be confirmed info that in later, maybe August or the fall of this year in 2020, we'll be getting that bread Air Jordan 4 in an off-white treatment. Now there's two versions of the shoe. You guys can see both right here. There's one that is pretty similar to the regular bread that we already have. It does have like a gray suede on it. Kind of has like a yellow or that oxidized look where the white usually would be at. And I like that pair, that pair is fine. The clear wings, it's like it's just enough to switch it up and I dig that pair. But we also have this one right here which has a completely red bottom, a clear toe cap, again, the clear pieces on the wings. And the whole upper looks to be more of a black suede than a black new buck or door buck or anything like that. And this one also has white laces on the inside. So y'all let me know between both of these versions which one y'all like better. Me personally, I think I'd rather just have the one with the gray toe cap. That one to me is just, it's not doing too much. It's close enough and I actually like how that one looks. But listen, man, that is it. Much love to all the fam, followers, and of course supporters. You guys can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, SoundCloud, Snapchat. The Snapchat is bull.cd, by the way, here, there. Plus, of course, I got the phone in my hand this time. Bullet RC and I'm gonna see you on the next video. Make sure y'all drop a like on this bit and remember, big vid on the way. I'm gonna see y'all later this week though. Peace. Two faced females all around me. Baby shawty, man, I thought that she was riding. Backstab, is she a killer? What's she hiding? Get the dumpin' if a nigga come and try me. Yeah. They so used to being dogs, she don't know it's good. Shawty from the hood, she 21, she knows good.